Oh hey Scorpio and welcome to your November reading and happy birthday. Let's get started. Um, let's see what's going on generally for you this month and then we'll get into your love cards. I did do a pre-shuffle and this is what I can already see for us. Mercury is in retrograde when November begins so I can see um, your past is still affecting you or there could be past people coming back in and that is the universe's way of testing to see if we have learnt our lessons. This card is saying release your past life karma. You are an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past will raise your vibration. So make sure as you um, you know, bring in your birthday and you celebrate your birthday another year older, you um, let go of what no longer serves you okay so don't no longer allow the past to bring you down past fears past events past people past relationships now is the time to turn over a new page this card came out and also the rebirth card so these two cards are saying um now is the time to no longer accept or settle for things that you're not happy about in your life. Um, reinvent yourself, give life to your dreams, create a new reality, and we've also got action. So now is the time to use the, the birthday blessings that the universe is sending your way to your advantage. Um, take action, take inspired action towards your dreams, move forward with confidence and um, embrace new opportunities new possibilities and change change is actually a, a real theme that I'm, I'm seeing so far um, some of you are going to be a little bit frustrated we've got the Psy card here in the gypsy oracle so you may not be exactly where you would where you were hoping you would be at this point in time you know last birthday you imagined or envisaged that you would be um, you know, maybe accomplished more. Um, maybe you envisaged you'd be living in a different place or you, you um, might have hoped to travel to new places and you haven't got there yet or you might want to be in a relationship and you're still single. Um, so there, there is that sense of disappointment, frustration, um, but now is the time to leap into the unknown um, there are new things on the horizon, definitely. Um, we've got pleasure seekers. So you're being asked to go towards that which makes you happy, that which inspires you, that which brings you pleasure. So activities, people, um, anything, okay? It's, it's a time to get out of this rut by taking action towards that which makes you happy. So really simple stuff here, simple. I do see new love for many of you singles. We've got the sweetheart card here. So that's exciting. Um, we will have a look at that in just a sec when we get onto your love card. So let me just put these oracles away, make some room. All right, let's ask First, what generally can Scorpios expect this month in January? Please, angels and spirit, what energies are dominant in the month of November 2019? What can Scorpios expect? Oh, we just saw the birthday card um, staring up at me. Okay, so the universe always likes to show me the three of cups whenever it's your birthday. Okay. What can Scorpios expect in November? Okay, here we go. So bottom of the deck, we have the judgment card. So again, your past is still influencing you in some way. But the judgment card is also a card about reinvention, okay? 
So it's a card about rebirth and we saw that in the unicorn deck. All right, so some of you are feeling stuck, but this is self-inflicted stuckness. Okay, so I want you to unblindfold yourself, untie yourself from what is holding you back. All right, fears, doubts, all those kinds of things. Do not settle or compromise. Um, you need to go in the direction of your dreams um, and don't, um, don't settle. Okay, this is a card asking you to be determined and fight for what you know that you deserve. Fight for, for your destiny. Fight for what is yours, okay? The Seven of Wands. There is a sense that you're trying to strike some kind of balance in your life. Um, maybe you are focused on one thing and it's at the um, expense of another aspect of your life. So you do need to restore balance. Um, you do need to make a decision about what you do want, what you don't want moving forward, okay? There's new horizons, new possibilities in store for you this month with the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is a card about, um, you know, all things new. It's a, it's a card about arousal, something new coming in that arouses your um, curiosity, your creativity. Um, but this could be uh, good news coming in because the pages are messengers. Uh, the, the ones are about passion, about fire, about what inspires us. This could also be a new love blossoming, okay? Because we did see the sweetheart card, all right? So I definitely see that for the single Scorpio, is someone new coming in. Maybe an earth sign. It may be someone who's quite established financially, someone who's quite practical, someone who's reliable and constant, all right? The king of pentacles. Interesting. So let's see, let's see what's what's in store generally. We'll, we'll use this deck here, the Sacred Geometry Activations Oracle and just see generally, and then we'll look at your love. Generally what's in store for Scorpios in the month of November. Yeah, look, this card staring up at me, conception. That's like the page of wands energy. It's a place where everything in creation begins. It helps us to remember the infinite potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focused awareness and intention. So you are being called on and asked to stay determined, stay focused. Um, on what you want to create and manifest on this new year ahead for you, Scorpio, in this new birthday year. Okay. So, Sacral Chakra is about our passions. So, flow with your desires. Stimulate your creative power to manifest success and abundance. Okay, beautiful. Makes sense. All right, now let's have a look what's going on in your love life, Scorpio. Angels and spirit, show me clearly what's going on for Scorpio in love in November 2019. Calling in your soulmate, it's safe for you to love, free yourself, and be honest with yourself about how you feel. We've got the deception card, but it's more about self-deception, okay? Calling in your soulmate is about manifesting someone who um, you know is going to meet your needs, who is going to match your energy. 
use prayers, affirmations and visualizations to help bring you together, okay? It's like, kind of like making a birthday wish. Dear universe, I would like someone who's solid, who's reliable, loyal, trustworthy, etc., etc. fill in the blanks, okay? It's safe for you to love. So no matter what you've been through in the recent past, no matter if you've been deceived or betrayed and heartbroken, it's time for you to open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of, of all, okay, which is love. So um, it's, it's time for you to get back out there. And it's also time for you to take back control of your life. You've got the free yourself card. So free yourself from past hurts, past relationships and disappointments that have been keeping you trapped. You can see the unicorn here is in some kind of cage. It's, it's imprisoned. All right, and you need to get yourself out. It's kind of like the Eight of Swords energy. It's, it's self-inflicted. This unicorn can fly out of there um, or, you know, work its magic. And that's what you need to do. And that's what all of your Oracle cards have been saying. Take action. All right, don't accept what no longer makes you happy anymore. I don't want you to just sit idly by and accept, you know, half-hearted things or things that don't fulfill you anymore and you need to be honest with yourself to do that all right there is going to be someone new for a lot of you we've got the attraction card um so i want you to flirt i want you to you know extend your light-hearted energy to others be playful and make an effort to get to know someone all right Okay, so that is what the Romance Angels had to say about your love life. Let's see who you're dealing with in November, Scorpio. Who's coming in for you? Who are you interested in? Who are you involved with? What are their feelings towards you? Show me angels and spirit. Who Scorpio will be dealing with in November on a romantic level? So I want four shuffles. Okay, one more. Scorpio, here's that page of wands again. And the judgment keep com keeps coming up. Okay, so um, someone from the past, possibly, um, but Page of Wands, something new developing, um, someone wanting to get in touch with you and see where this can go. It's the early stages of love. It's arousal, remember, okay? We've got the Temperance card, so possibly a Sagittarius coming back from your past even. Um, or just a new one for some of you. But this card is asking you to do yourself healing work. Okay? Have patience. Um, trust in divine timing. Okay? That's what temperance is all about. And it looks like the same angel in both of these cards. Look, they've got similar colored wings, similar colored hair. So, very interesting. We have the star card, so I want you to stay optimistic. I want you to wish upon a star, birthday wish, make a birthday wish. Um, but definitely uh, um, stay hopeful and optimistic. And this is also a card about renewal. So someone may come back from the past and try and give um, this connection another go, okay? There could have been communication issues or the silent treatment in the past. Maybe they made you feel left out in the cold with the five of pentacles and now suddenly they're back. Maybe they, were, they weren't quiet because they just had too much on their plate um, or emotionally they weren't in the kind of headspace to, to see where this connection could have led, all right? So the ten of wands... So 
I feel like you will be making headway, a lot of you, in terms of your career. We've got the chariot next to the eight of pentacles. So you're working towards something in, in terms of your careers. And I feel like for a while now, Scorpio, love interests just haven't been able to stir your... They haven't been able to really sweep you off your feet. You've been a little bit dissatisfied in your love life. And you've, you're kind of sick of waiting, I feel. We've got the em Empress card here, which is a card about expectancy. It's a card about waiting. She's sitting on her throne, waiting for things to, to come to fruition, people to arrive. Um, so I feel like that's what you've been doing, a lot of waiting. And no one has really been able to match your effort with the three of pentacles in the reverse, okay? All right, let's see. So yeah, you could be dealing with Sagittarius, Scorpio, with the Judgment card. Um, with the Empress card there, you could be dealing with a Taurus or Libra as well. Okay, guys, so they're the main energies or star signs that are staring up at me doesn't have to be those star signs everyone's different okay every Scorpio is going to experience this differently so what's coming up for Scorpio in love in November show me clearly Here we go. Interesting, we've got the Ace of Pentacles next to the Five of Cups. Don't miss an opportunity that wants to come in in November because you're dwelling on past hurts and disappointments. This is a time to move on, okay? Let go of the past and be open to new possibilities, new love, um, okay? The world card. Acknowledge how far you've come. Um, you know, this is a card about completion of a cycle, which you have completed this birthday cycle. You've come a long way and you need to recognize that and move into the new, okay? And look what is in store for you in the next cycle. The Ten of Cups. Amazing. This is the pinnacle of emotional fulfillment. It's contentment, it's marriage, it's family. Um, this is going to be a month of uh, new, truthful new beginnings, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, really good communication between you and love prospects, okay? This is clarity. This is honesty. This is truth. Um, this is a breakthrough. This is victory, okay? So you're going to be coming out of a time of um, rec reclusiveness, okay? We've got the Hermit card in the reverse. So I feel like you've gone within, you've done your soul searching, you've done your reflection, and you're ready to um, re-emerge, I feel, okay? Here again, the Page of Wands, okay? So he keeps popping up. Um, and it's I see that you're going to be the one to make the decision about this new person coming in, this Page of Wands. Look, you have the Seven of Cups. So, you know, you've got choice here. And look, we do have the Nine of Cups. So I feel like it's going to be a great month. The Nine of Cups is a card about dreams coming true, wishes being fulfilled. So you are going to get your birthday wish. Okay. All right. I'm going to draw a card from the Love Oracles deck. Let's see what we can get. What does Scorpio need to do in love in the month of November 2019? Pablo Picasso. So... Um, 
I feel like this card is asking you to um, be the picture of beauty this month. Appreciate beauty. Because uh, this is about art. Make seduction the greatest work of art. And they call seduction the art of seduction. Okay, so... Um, Begin all affairs with good intentions and remember it's not age, it's experience. That's interesting, that message on that card, I wonder what that means. So maybe it's actually just a, um, it's talking about your birthday, you know, you're one year older and you don't need to dwell on that, it doesn't make you any less beautiful just makes you more wise and more experienced so draw on your experiences in love um, you don't need to allow the past experiences to determine what is going to happen in the future change the script okay don't, don't allow history to repeat itself you know draw a new painting um, create a new piece of art the art being your love life, okay? Make seduction the greatest work of art. And then you've got another creative at the top of the death deck, Ernest Hemingway. Obviously, he was a author, a poet. And this is asking you to treasure those seconds when you felt your heart beating. Don't allow any tourists into your own private Paris. So don't allow people who are just wanting to have their fun and uh, leave you to come in. Um, don't just allow people to, to, to just pay a brief visit and um, drop you like a hot potato. Okay, To love someone and mean it is a rare and valuable thing. So Ernest Hemingway was a very romantic person. Okay, And so I want you to think long term when you're engaging in, um, you know, new encounters. All right. So have have the long term vision. Um, prioritize that. Okay. I'm not saying don't have fun um, or flirt with people who don't want anything long term. I'm just saying don't don't settle. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense gonna pull one more card this is a new deck okay here we go okay so you've got Gala Dali, Salvatore Dali's um, wife or partner, lover. So this card is asking you to inspire adoration by being supportive, gentle and nurturing. Um, spark someone's imagination. Be that artist. That, be, be that Ernest Hemingway. Be that Pablo Picasso. Paint this beautiful life that makes you happy and that perfect person will come along and will be just as devoted to you as you them. Everything in love is invention. Create and soar over the ordinary. Again, you're being asked to manifest, create the love that you desire. Soar over the ordinary. Don't compromise. Don't settle for anything less than the best. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay. All right. Well, good luck in November, dear Scorps. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.